One could not count the mm-hmm. rooms that shimmer on her roofs or the thousand splendid suns that hide behind her walls. Welcome and good morning. My name is Shreya Kashyap and today I am going to review one of my favorite books that is A Thousand Splendid Suns written by an Afghan-American novelist named Khalid Husseini. Adult fiction novel that centers about the life of two Afghan women. Set up in Afghanistan from 1960s to 1990s, spanning over from the Soviet reunion to the Taliban control, following the lives of two women in marriages in the war-torn country. This book is divided into four parts. The first part of the book deals with Maryam's part of life. The second part of the book deals with Laila's part of life. And in the third part, we see that both Maryam and Laila come together. And in the fourth part is the last part in which is the conclusion of the book. The book is split in dual narrative. The first part of the book deals with Maryam's life and our first character is Maryam. Maryam is nine years old and she lives on the outskirts of the city Herat with her bitter mother and waiting anxiously for her wealthy father who visits her once in a week. Branded as an illegitimate child, Maryam faces many prejudices. Khalid Husseini introduces an emptiness in her father's love. After her mother's suicide, she is forced to marry a 50-year-old man named Rashid when she is only 15 years old. The second part of her book is about Lala's life and the second character is also Lala. Lala is a brave but a meddlesome girl with her best friend named Tariq. They both get separated during the war and because of the war, Lala's parents die and she is forced to marry Rashid. Both the characters, Lala and Maryam, are very different from one another because of their different backgrounds, their social education, etc. I loved the information itself and I loved his way of writing. I felt that it is a best tragic borderline as as it is about a war-torn country. And so the tragic things are going to happen. You blink seven times, you cry, even I did. It is the best combination of quality and quantity. Kala Thaseni has beautifully, fully, beautifully portrayed love, sisterhood, pain. Lala and Mariam are very different from one another because of their different backgrounds, their social education, etc. I loved the information itself and I loved his way of writing. I felt that it is a best tragic borderline as, as it is about a war on country. And so the tragic things are going to happen. You blink seven times, you cry, even I did. It is the best combination of quality and quantity. Kala Thaseni has beautifully beautifully portrayed love, sisterhood, pain and solidarity in a deeply, deeply patriarchal and oppressive role. The best takeaway, the biggest takeaway is from this book is that whenever your life becomes difficult, whenever you feel devastated, don't be a reason for someone else's misery. Don't be a reason to make someone else unhappy. Be Mariam. Don't be like Rashid. Be Mariam. Be a reason for someone else's happiness. The most important characters, Lala, Tariq and Mariam, teach us that love is the most effective ointment and that it can cure every pain, it can endure every pain. Through their inner strength and through their inner strength and and braveness, Mariam and Laila fight oppression, they fight for their freedom. It also tells that a war cannot ever bring peace to a country, it always brings destruction. It also gives us a brief outlook of how a war torn country's society is affected by a war. We always notice the best part of everything, but we never notice the worst part. The war which is always destructive, it devastates many of the people's life. Everyone is affected by the war. Some people are forced to move to another country. Some are some pay some of the 
children's parents die someone lose their parents their children as first fighting soldiers in the wars after reading this book i promise you you will be a better person you will try to empathize everyone you know who is depressed you will not try to judge the characters and this is the best and the best part i love about khaled husaini's writing style you can finish reading this book physically but mentally and emotionally you can never ever end this the characters of tariq maryam and laila will always and always forever stay with you